the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, you revealed the incarnation of your Son by the brilliant shining of a star. Shine the light of your justice always in our hearts and over all lands, and accept our lives as the treasure we offer in your praise and for your service. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Lord and Savior, open now your saving word. Let it burn like fire within us. Speak until our hearts are stirred. Alleluia, Lord, we sing for the good news that you bring. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, Bring me words so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Happy New Year, siblings in Christ. On this second Sunday of Christmas and first Sunday of 2021, 
Our atonement congregation is observing the Feast of the Epiphany of our Lord. When English speakers use the word epiphany, we usually use it to describe a sudden realization, an aha moment. In biblical Greek, the word epiphany specifically describes the brilliant manifestation or shining appearance of the divine. The Feast of the Epiphany always falls on January 6th, the 13th day after Christmas, and marks the arrival of the star-struck Magi in Bethlehem, where they pay homage to the Christ child, the newborn Messiah King. The Holy Spirit has so much to teach us through the story of the Magi, that the Magi are foreign practitioners of what we moderns would probably consider astrology, has long been thought to foreshadow the truth that Christ, our gentle King, will attract people of every culture and creed into the kingdom of God. Truly, everyone is welcome, welcome to be transformed by love and for love. Also, the Magi's gifts have long been thought to symbolize what well-rounded homage to the babe of Bethlehem should look like. The gift of gold befits his kingship. The gift of incense befits his divinity. And the gift of myrrh befits his personal and perfect sacrifice. Perhaps these gifts call us to take stock of the ways we pay Christ homage, we who believe that everyone has something to offer. The Holy Spirit has so much to teach us through the story of the Magi, but this year, the Spirit is drawing me toward one particular bittersweet feature of their story. The Magi are both willing and able to travel thousands of miles in order to be physically present to worship Christ together. Most years, that detail barely registers in my soul, but this year, it's really got me thinking. Before the pandemic, too many of us who claim to be Christians weren't willing to travel down the street to be physically present to worship Christ together on a regular basis. And now during the pandemic, because none of us Christians are able to be physically present to worship Christ together, at least not in the way we like, most of us have gotten out of the habit of going to church. This communal inertia is going to make relaunching congregations like ours so very challenging when this pandemic comes to an end. And my friends, it will come to an end. Even now, the body of Christ at Atonement has begun to receive the first dose of the vaccine. A light has appeared, shining in its own way as brightly as the star of Bethlehem a light at the end of this pandemic's long, dark tunnel. And it's not an oncoming train. It is Christ our Lord calling us into a brighter future together. So, if you were among those who were able but unwilling to gather regularly for worship before the pandemic, Please, hear me out. If you are among those who have fallen out of the habit of interacting with the church over the last 10 months because we've not been safely able to gather in person, hear my plea. Follow in the wise footsteps of the Magi and make a commitment for Christ's sake and for yours, to gather together for worship on a regular basis in this new year when it is safe to do so. We're not quite there yet. I know that. But we will be soon. And when we get there, 
the church will still have a vital role to play in Christ's kingdom project. And your ministry of presence will have a vital role to play in the revitalization of the church. And when that day comes, I'll be so happy to see you all again, together, in the spirit of Jesus. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Guided by the star, together with the whole people of God, let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. O splendor of God's glory, shine your radiance within our world. Remove the barriers that divide us and teach us to love with all our might. Lead us, O God, lead us by your light. True dawn from on on high, set us free from the power of guilt and grave. Shine your light in our lives and grant us your grace. Lead us, O God, lead us by your light. O living spring of light from light, renew the strength of all who suffer, the poor, the sick, and those who mourn. Lead us, O God, lead us by your light. God of light, into your hands we place all for whom we pray, trusting in your radiant mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaimed joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by a star. Bless you this day through the word made flesh. Amen. Be at peace. Let your light shine. Thanks be to God.